Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be talking about Valorant console and the top five easiest agents to learn. So you definitely need to check out for the whole thing because you don't want to miss any of it. Now, for an honorable mention, we got Omen. And I'm not going to lie, Omen is somewhat kind of difficult, but he's also easy at the same time. Once you understand, like, first time you're using this kit, you might be, like, saying to yourself, how do I smoke properly? How do I use this all this util properly? And when to use it, when not to use it? But once you see some of these high-level Omen players, they are absolutely ridiculous with the use of their kit. And it's definitely something you need to check out. I would say, personally, Omen's probably the best controller in the game. And that really does help out since he is a it's a very simple kit to learn and a very simple kit to use. So definitely check out Omen. However, he is definitely not the easiest agent on the list, but he is definitely a strong honorable mention that you definitely need to try out over number one. So we got number five and we got Gecko, one of the probably the best initiators on console. He has a very all around kit. You can really dominate pretty much ranked or unrated or and if you want to dominate in Spike Rush, definitely uh, the little guy amazing for posting and 1v1s and 1v2s where you want the bond to be planted you just throw the little guy down and maybe go hunt down for another pick the flash it's not the best flash in the game but it gets the job done okay and the molly molly is very good especially for closing off like areas to prevent enemies from actually pushing you onto a site when you're trying to plant the bomb or it's even good for lineups now, again, lineups are not the probably best thing. Not a lot of people do them, but it's definitely something you should uh, watch out for in the future. And we got the alt. The alt is extremely easy to use. It's one of the best alts in the game, and it's a very high skilled ceiling alt. Once you start to master it and when to use it and when not to use it. I know that this might be a little controversial, but this is why Gecko's at my number five. He is very easy to play. And especially for noob friendly players, I would say he's one of the very first initiators you should be unlocking first. Now we got number four, Reyna, one of the goats when it comes to dominating ranks and unrated matches. She is absolutely ridiculous. If there's a good strong Reyna on the other team, she's probably a smurf. There's a reason why this agent is such a good smurfing. <laughs> Such a good smurfing agent, especially at low level ranks. When those top end players are tired of playing top end talent and they just want to fry for a bit, they pick this agent for a reason. Reyna is just hits so easy. You basically got a flash and anytime you got a kill, you either dismiss away or you heal yourself. And the ult, ever since the buff, is absolutely nice where you can just pop it at the beginning of a round and bam, I'm ready to go. Definitely someone you got to check out. For number three, we got Phoenix. I, what is there to say about Phoenix? Phoenix is hit is super easy to understand there's a reason why he fries at low level ranks especially if you are definitely a smurf phoenix's flash is almost impossible to dodge i will say say this straight up i think phoenix probably has the best flash in the game and it's especially on console it is almost impossible to dodge uh, his wall and his molly definitely not the best util but it's definitely something you can use to heal yourself pretty easily and his alt is basically just another life in a round for a temporary bit and what can i say definitely try out phoenix like he's given to you for free so like if you want to learn the duelist role phoenix is definitely the agent that you need to learn right off the bat for number two we got sage and truth be told Sage, Sage is the definition of being outdated. Her kit, it was definitely something very menacing at first for Valorant, especially in the first week or so when it came to the PC beta and stuff. But it got to the point where nowadays Sage is completely useless. Like she might, it is definitely a safe pick for a reason. Like if you don't know what to play and you're looking for maybe just a simple agent to learn, Sage is fine. She provides basically bare minimum information as the Sentinel role. Like she can block off one entrance way. She can slow down rushes and then she can heal yourself or heal your other teammates but even then that's basically it even the self revive is nice but like most people don't even know how to use the self revive properly and when to use it and when not to use it like age is the definition of like a super easy kit to learn but not a lot of people actually like age is the definition of a kit that's so outdated that even when new people learn how to play it the new people don't bring any role like these new people don't bring any new things to come into the agent while you have a character like gecko or something like that who is a very fresh agent a very easy agent to learn however even if you're really bad at gecko if you just use your util 
you bring so much information. Like, I was tempted just to keep Sage off this list because how horrible of an agent she is. But at the same point, she is very, she is a very easy agent to learn. But at the same time, it's not, I, not, uh, not an agent I would pick personally. But she is definitely very suitable for number two. Before we get into the number one pick, don't be afraid to hit that like and subscribe. All support truly is appreciated. And if you disagree with this list, comment down below. So here is my number one pick. Okay, everybody, there's only one answer for number one. You could make an argument for number two, but truth be told, number one will always be Brim. Brim is the definition of if you want to learn the controller rule, if you just want to learn how to place down smokes, how to play the game properly with ease, Brim is definitely the agent for you. And unlike like un unlike Sage, Brim actually brings a lot of vital stuff to his role. Like the Molly is really good. It deals an extra amount of damage. The smokes are actually some of the best smokes in the game. Again, you can probably criticize the quality of how he places down the smokes is a lot more rough. I guess you could say it's a lot more rougher. And I would say you can make the argument that Clove is definitely a better version of him. But I still say this definitely Brimstone is definitely an OG for a reason. He brings a lot to a team, especially on Bind. He is definitely one of the main like characters on Bind for a reason, in the, in the meta for PC anyway. Grim is the definition of a safe pick. If you don't know who to pick and you still want to bring a lot of resources to your team, Grim is that guy. To finish off this list, number one definitely goes to Brimstone.